Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening up and setting uh, the Chromecast Ultra. So I have uh, a regular Chromecast which I believe is the first generation and I set it up on my TV long time ago. So I'll show you what I have and I'll show you even the picture quality and then once I switch back to Chromecast uh, Ultra then I'll show you the picture quality again. Now. My TV is not a 4K, uh, 4K TV, this is just a regular 1080p TV, but I believe that you know still uh, the Chromecast Ultra 4K should bring a better picture quality on the TV. So let's look at the back of my TV where uh, the uh, Chromecast uh, old version is sitting and I'll show that to you. So if you take a look at right here, so this is the I believe first generation uh, Chromecast and still I've been using it. And I connected uh, my uh, cell phone to the TV and uh, the one problem I'm having with the old version of Chromecast is that you know it cannot uh, take 5G internet uh, Wi-Fi connection so it's still taking uh, you know 2.4G uh, and it gets like you know very slow if uh, there's uh, uh, sometimes you know if I'm watching a movie or YouTube video then it doesn't actually uh, can broadcast uh, without interrupting. So so I'll turn on my TV and we'll look at the Chromecast uh, welcome screen first time and uh, let's take a look here. So if you can take a look here it's 720 by 480 uh, 60p it's not an even 1080 and then uh, the next thing I'd like to show you that you know this uh, old version cannot support uh, 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi connection it's only support up to 2.4 GH uh, Z so that's why it gets very like you know slow or it lags uh, you know from time to time so you'll see right uh, here that is 2.4 uh, GH Z right here uh, because it cannot support 5 GH uh, Z so you know I have difficulty watching uh, YouTube or a movie because it lags and it takes time to catch up so once we switch uh, back to um, 4k Chromecast then we'll see how things are and then I'll just uh, show you a short clip of one of my 4k videos and we'll compare the picture quality although my TV is not 4k but I believe still it should make a lot of difference uh, with uh, in terms of uh, picture quality okay so it's starting up Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. You are watching one of most real travel videos in the Great Ocean Road. Okay, so here's the picture Australia quality. And uh, the beautiful Australia with me. Thank you for watching. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so you are watching this with the, the old Chromecast, and then once you know I'll install, then I'll compare with the new Chromecast. So this one has two problems. One is a Wi-Fi connection. It cannot accept uh, 5 uh, GHz. And then the resolution is very low, uh, which is even lower than 1080, uh, which I showed you before. So let's uh, go back to the uh, 4K Chromecast. Here is the box we have. And uh, it has some information. For example, here, 4K HDR. Uh, and then you can see that you know on the back on the side of the box uh, 4k HDR video streaming from the cloud and 2.45 gigahertz Wi-Fi support uh, which is uh, you know the old one cannot go to 5 gigahertz and then start streaming with your voice using Google Home and then uh, screen mirroring Android smartphone so plug it into HDMI port of TV cables included and works with Android, iPhone, and these device, uh, these systems. Okay, so on this side of uh, there's just you know some more uh, information, and that's all here. So let's start with the unboxing. Remove the cover, and uh, this is our Chromecast. So I'll just you know remove uh, this one too. 
I'll put this here and I'll come back to this shortly and let's see what we have here so you have just uh, instruction manuals on here how this works and then there's another instruction booklet and warranty card so I'll just put this here and here's the cable and the power adapter so the old Chromecast actually didn't have its power so it was just like you know uh, you just plug it in and you didn't need any power so now I'm gonna have to use this power to plug uh, power this Chromecast and if I take out so you can see that there's some sort of magnetic uh, option so it just you know holds on to have a you know uh, connection uh, port for regular US micro USB this is not USB C another feature I noticed that you know it has direct Ethernet connection so you can just connect to internet via this uh, port right here and then this is the you know to power the Chromecast and this is the plugin so if you're using uh, the Ethernet connection or internet connection directly then uh, you can just you know uh, use that too without using Wi-Fi okay so that's all we have here so what I'll do I'll take out my old Chromecast and put it in and then you know I'll start uh, showing you uh, from that step forward connecting the Chromecast Ultra 4k uh, was a breeze I just had to uh, you know put in the HDMI input into the HDMI port and then I connected the other end into a power uh, port and that's it so it's it has that blink uh, light right there so that means that you know I have to set it up so let's uh, turn on uh, the TV and see what uh, type of a message I get it's telling me to go to Google Home app on the phone or tablet and start uh, setting up the uh, Chromecast Ultra so what I'll do I'll go to the Google Home app and so once I you know open the Google Home so it's already giving me the message that one device found so if I just uh, click on it it's recognizing that you know Chromecast Ultra font and it asking uh, would you like to set up so say okay so it says connected and it's asking for uh, the code to be confirmed on the uh, TV and if you uh, look on the TV then you'll see that you know this is the same code so I'm going to just you know uh, say yes and then it's asking if I would like to share stats and everything uh, I'm going to say no thanks then where's this device my uh, living room or back garden so I'll just choose my living room and then next and then create a unique so I'll just name it uh, Chromecast 4k next so choose the Wi-Fi connection so I'm going to just connect it to my 5 uh, G Wi-Fi uh, I don't have to go to 24 2.4 G anymore so I'll just you know go here and next okay so it's connecting to the Wi-Fi it's not it didn't ask me any password so I believe because my phone is already connected to the same network uh, that's why it may not ask me a password let's take a look and see what happens here it's already connected uh, I didn't ask me any password so if you take a look on my TV right now and then you can see that you know it's just uh, going through the updates I have this error message uh, which is that you know your Chromecast Ultra uses your Google account uh, so whether if you'd like to use that I'm going to hit uh, next and then the next one is going to be just you know asking to subscribe from the email so I'm not going to subscribe anything and link video services and then you know I don't have any Netflix so I'm going to go next and uh, here's a review of what you have set up so devices and Wi-Fi continue and it's uh, doing more updates so we'll just you know wait until the update is done and then we'll uh, watch uh, the same video we watched before on the old Chromecast okay so you can see that you know it's connecting after the updates and it's, it mentions here that almost done 
I'm getting some message on the phone that choose a sample click to learn how to cast which I do not need so I'll just hit on skip tutorial and then you know it brought me directly to YouTube uh, the interface actually uh, looks different than the old one YouTube home okay so it's playing the same video we watched before uh, but this is now playing on 4k and let's take a look to see if there's any you know video there's any quality uh, you can see the quality uh, if the, we can see any significant difference of the quality hello everyone this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com you're watching one of my studio travel videos okay I can tell or I can see a significant uh, difference in uh, picture quality so definitely the quality is much better than what I used to have although my TV is just a regular 1080 TV it's not even 4k but yes, uh, it did make sense to, uh, you know, purchase a 4K Chromecast instead of just going for the 1080. And another reason I purchased a 4K because I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to buy another one again in case, you know, if I end up buying a 4K TV in the future. So this should be good for a while because, you know, I don't need to buy another uh, 4K uh, Chromecast uh, had I bought just a regular 1080 uh, version of Chromecast. So that's all the setup and Chromecast uh, unboxing. Uh, thank you for watching. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. I'll see you shortly.